welcome to week 10 in your 12 week course, The English Way. Now, you've worked at your English. I know you've worked at your English very hard, and I mean not just your written English, but your spoken English. You've been working hard all these weeks to get really good English, English. And now you may have to go for a job with an English speaking company. Now, going for a job with an English speaking company, there's some things that you really must remember. Number one, get relaxed before you go to an interview for a job. And when you're outside the door before you walk in, get English. Begin to feel English. Go in as an English person. And when you go in and you start to talk, remember, you've got to have enough breath. If you don't have enough breath, the voice will get thin and it'll go up higher and higher. And that's really no good. So get prepared for your interview. Stay relaxed, get plenty of breath and remember to articulate. Take your time and articulate every word and remember hitting the key words, both the primary sounds, the secondary sounds and those other sounds that we recently learned that are also very special and very important. Also, we did some singing. Do you remember earlier on to get the voice forward and to get the articulation? Singing is just so good for the voice. I mean, it's good for the vocal cords. It's good for your breath because it makes you take in more breath and push it out on a cushion of air. We love singing and we love singing at football matches. And one of our teams, which is Liverpool, up there in the Midlands, Liverpool have adopted as their anthem, if you like, their special song, their, their song of celebration and pageantry is You'll never walk alone. You'll never walk alone. Hear all the great open primary sounds in there. And here they are singing it. I want you to pay attention then to those key sounds. When you walk through the storm, hold your head up high, almost an R, and don't be afraid of the dark, lovely R. At the end of the storm is a golden sky, that's almost an R, and the sweet E, silver song of 
a log. There's an R. That's how these things work. These great primary sounds in these great songs. We English invented cricket, but sometimes we're not very good at it. We brought cricket to India, and yet, whenever we play India in a test match, we invariably lose. How can that be? We invented cricket. Are we really that bad at it? Oh dear, he's out. We spend quite a lot of time working with Hamlet's famous speech from Shakespeare, to be or not to be. And how are you getting on with that? Are you managing to get that English rhythm to be or not to be? That is the question. You need to practice that because to sound really English, you need more of an English rhythm. And remember, on an important word, we go down to be or not to be. That is the question. But here is the great wartime leader of Britain, Winston Churchill you might have heard of, very, very famous. And in 1940, when most of the country and most of the English parliament thought that we should surrender to the Germans, he gave an amazing speech in the Houses of Parliament. And the result of the speech was everybody decided to fight on, because that was the point of the speech. And here is a bit of it. You'll fight in the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. And did you hear the way that Churchill used some key sounds on key words in this magnificent speech? We shall fight them on the beaches. We shall fight them on the landing grounds. We shall fight them in the streets, we shall fight them in the hills, and we shall never uh, surrender. And he finishes on this great big R. Uh. So your assignment today is to remember some of these great English speeches. Practice to be or not to be. That is the question. And listen to the audio of Winston Churchill's speech and see how it's written and practice getting those wonderful, great primary sounds that he used to turn the nation in his favor and fight on and win. And we shall never surrender. I'll see you for week 11 next week.